If you could dress three of the favorites at Augusta this week in Peter Millar apparel, who would you choose? One I, I would really love to dress is Rory. Yeah, you know, and obviously Nike's got a stronghold, but Rory just the way he carries himself in golf and the bounce he has in his step and the confidence and and he's just such a, a great guy and great ambassador for the game. to welcome Scott Mahoney, CEO of Peter Millar, to Molder's Table. If you haven't heard of Scott or the company he leads, chances are you aren't watching the November Masters at Augusta National. It's been described as wearable color, classic, not traditional, current, but not modern. Peter Millar was founded in 2001 and has since grown beyond the golf course into a global men's sportswear brand. So what's next for the brand? We turn to our conversation with Scott. Today, the Masters is starting, and it's unlike any other Masters. No fans, and it's November. As a golf nut yourself, what do you expect over the next few days? I think it'll be kind of cool to see, without fans, the vastness of, uh, of the golf course. You know, it's kind of like when you, the first time you go into Yankee Stadium and you walk out and you see the, the big field, which you don't get to see. Uh, on television, and I think people will see that. But It's the holiest of the days for sports fans in golf. So it's quite a, uh, it'll be a great weekend. I'm looking forward to it as well. Who in the field is wearing Peter Millar? You know, we've got Brant Snedeker, Kevin Kister, Lee Westwood, Ches Reavy, and uh, the U.S. Amateur Champion, Andy Ogletree. For those not familiar with the brand, how would you describe Peter Millar? I think we're kind of a lifestyle brand. You know, I, I bought the business back in 2005. And I'd like to think that we make clothes for everybody like you or me or, you know, anyone from 35 to 70. And we like to be able to dress every occasion. And, you know, I think what people most like about our brand is like the woman in their life or their significant other always says, geez, you look great in Peter Mollar clothes because it's a little edgier than, you know, maybe traditional Brooks Brothery kind of clothing. And uh, we have a little bit of an edge, good color, and a very, very, very fair, uh, fair price value relationship. The company is almost 20 years old. Tell us where the name came from, because I understand there is no Peter Millar. Chris Knott, who started the company, there were three guys that started the company. Chris was a salesman and his mother had given him a lawn ball, a lawn bowling ball, an English lawn bowling ball. And on it was Peter Millar. And he, that's what he named the company. And then in 2008, you brought in Winona, a private equity firm in Chicago. They brought incredible discipline to our business, you know, financial discipline that we kind of had, but we didn't really have. And uh, they understood working capital and business. And they, they also bought into the brand where many private equity companies want you to goose your revenues, don't care about your bottom line, goose revenue, 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 so we can sell and flip it. And uh, Winona let us do it the right way. And uh, they were great partners. And then, and then just to fast forward, when the time came, you know, three years later, we had grown it to a very profitable business. And uh, it was really time for them to, to exit. And uh, we ran another process and Richmond ended up uh, buying the company. It's a little surreal sometimes when I think about our little company in Raleigh. You know, I go to these CEO conferences in Italy or South Africa and I'm with these other brands. And, you know, I, I grew up essentially in Tennessee and these guys are all uh, Parisians or wherever. And, you know, but Johan Rupert has been an incredible owner to us and he's really left our business to grow it, you know, the way we want to grow. Johan always, his comment is, make your product great. Don't raise your prices, make your product better. What's the best advice you got in your career along the way? To follow something you really want to do that you wake up and you're jazzed about. And uh, and I think if you can do that, you love waking up and going to work every day, you're going to be really successful. And, and then obviously the success will follow you.